Hi everyone, this is Dave from RVTracking.com. Um, our trailer doesn't have a TV in it, and we're going to remedy that today. So if you'd like to see how I installed one, um, hey, just stay tuned. Okay, so here I am in the trailer, and you can see that the manufacturer has equipment installed on the wall for the TV over here on the counter. The problem is uh, counter space. This is a small trailer, and uh, every space is a premium here, so we're not going to mount it here. Our plan is to come across the trailer above the booth and install it above that window up there on that wall. So that's my intention and we will be running power over there and we'll also be running the TV uh, antenna cable over there. So uh, hey, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a bracket across here to mount the attachment for the TV. It's actually a swing arm, so we'll be able to move our TV around. Now, how I intend to do this, I went to our local uh, machine shop that sells aluminum, and we're going to take a aluminum bracket and mount it to the side of the shelving here, and then we're going to have rods that's going to bridge across. There'll be two rods bridging across the cabinets to mount the TV bracket too. Okay, so we have our bars made that's going to go up and connect to our cabinets. Um, we also have the TV mount attached to the bars. This is the TV that I'm going to be using and all of these pieces will be in the comment section below or the description below the video so if you want to check these out I chose this particular TV because of um, a clarity and I've already hooked it up and it's very clear and also it has a DVD player built into it. Very reasonable um, but uh, it, it seems to be a good unit. We also have a quick release unit that mounts to the back of the TV and also mounts to uh, my bracketry so I can just flip the lever and pull the TV off to take it inside uh, on inclement weather or cold conditions or really hot conditions and I just don't want to leave it out in the trailer. So um, next step is mount our bracket up on the wall. Before I mount this up on the cabinets I want to show you a little bit more about what I did. What I have here is I have two aluminum bars um, with little angle, uh, aluminum angle on the ends and I measured, remeasured, and measured again this area between my cabinets where this bracket's going to fit. So after I made this bracket I took this uh, TV mount and mounted it across the tubes to hold the TV. So let's mount this, uh, let's mount this up on the wall and uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have my bars up in place and I've already pre-drilled the holes for the screws to go into the cabinet. Now I will hand check the screws for tightness and then I will be uh, leveling the bracket and mounting my quick releases on the TV bracket. So I have the quick release bracket mounted to the TV arm. I'm just going to uh, tighten it down.
screws are small. Uh, the TV does not weigh that much, but you don't want to strip these. Okay, so uh, I have the TV mounted on our brackets between our, uh, between our cabinets. Um, with this particular bracket, it allows me to rotate the TV out and twist it around to point towards the kitchen area if I would want to do that. So uh, I can angle the TV up or down. Uh, I'm going to slightly angle it down because of where I'm going to be sitting most of the time to watch. So next we need to run power and we need to run our antenna cable. 